everybody. Um, I've got a two-piece um, bottle I'm making here. Threw it uh, yesterday. Ten inches tall, two pieces. This piece here has a um, a point on it in profile, and this piece here, if you can see it, has a groove in it. And once it's inside the other, I found it's the easiest way to join two pots together so you, so you get them uh, symmetrical if you're quite accurate with the groove and the point with a pair of uh, uh, calipers you can more or less get the, um, the thing fairly straight and not wobbly I found that with flat with a flat edge two flat edges you put together they can move and you get dints and whatever this seems to locate itself quite well okay so we just hold this bit first and turn the bottom and what it does is it it it, it, me, me, it mixes the two surfaces together under a bit of pressure so we hold the top and just and you'll feel it you'll feel it grab and bite so when you're putting two pieces of of slipped clay together when you you rub them together like this with some slip between suddenly they bite and you know that they're fixed so now um, I can join this bit here I've kept the top bit uh, if you can see it I'll just double check as I'm talking about something else there we go just lift it up a little bit I've, uh, I've kept the top covered in plastic while this is dried out a little bit so that um, I can then carry on throwing this part so we'll just have to find a wire somewhere and cut this top off it was thrown on a bat this part here was thrown direct on the wheel because I don't, I don't want the idea of it sliding about. This one's thrown on a bat, this top piece. Still fairly soft. And I can uh, now get inside here now and smooth the joint. Um, I use a metal tool, no matter what you use, and we just cut into it. I've got my fingers against this joint here so I don't push it in. I don't think there's much chance of that because it's fairly it's fairly it's dried fairly well. We just need to work on this joint. A bit boring to watch but What I'm going to do now is is push out from the inside the chunk. It will go in a little bit here, just by the way that it's dried. Um, if I start scraping it, I'm going to get a belly in it. So I'm going to push from the inside out. So basically pushing it out to the rib. You can see it there; it's coming out a little bit. And also what that does is it smooths the inside. I'm actually moving my finger up and down like this on the inside. Um, the slip, I put slip on the two surfaces so it's, it's softened it up a little bit. And it's just a question of pressing up and down on the inside so that we get rid of that seam. You can make it fairly seamless. Someone sent me a question about the, when I put the photographs of it on Facebook saying well how do you how do you avoid the seam being you know for it being seen that's why on a lot of pots you see um, I'm just filling in a little bit of a crack there on a lot of pots you see people have put when they join in join it in, in sections you'll see there's a line that they put and that's to disguise the joint because you always get like a slight mark it, when it when it when this dries it's thinner here than it is here so this will pull in a little bit but what I try to do is as it's drying I'll come back on the wheel and just 
uh, take my time and work on the joint so I want it to be seamless or as seamless as I can get it so you just take your time I'm curving this I'm curving the side of this here so that uh, I don't put a flat flat edge on it the inside's perfectly smooth now there's no need to go in with the tool I'm using my finger And that's it. One tall bottle. I'm going to throw this now. I'll do another video in a bit. Um, I'm going to throw this now and throw a flat neck. Um, I'll do a video of that uh, in a few minutes, but I'll uh, switch off and then switch back on again to get two separate videos. My, my new flip camera is a very old flip camera and it doesn't have the editing software that the new ones had. So. I have to uh, video it separately, so, okay, see you in two minutes.